Hi everyone, I'm Tom and today I'm going to be playing Horrified, which is a cooperative game all about, well, fighting universal monsters. We are teaming up today against the Creature from the Black Lagoon, the Wolfman and the Invisible Man, and we need to defeat them before the decks run out, before the terror level gets too high, before we basically give up. I am playing a two-player game today against Little Glass Marty, well, with my Little Glass Marty for a change, actually, and the difference for playing solo is you start on terror level three instead of the normal zero. Now, there are different setups for each of the monsters. There's more, there's Dracula, there's Frankenstein and Bride of Frankenstein. They have to be played together, and there's another one as well. Uh, but uh, you mix and match them depending on the difficulty you want to play as. This is standard difficulty, three monsters, and we are going to be trying to defeat them right now. The mummy, of course. How could I forget the mummy? Anyway, there is a static and a handheld camera. You can switch between them depending on your preference, and I would recommend you turn on the Klingon subtitles because mistakes are put there. Let's go then. So I am going to be the first player, and the first thing you do on your turn is the hero phase. So you have a different number of actions that you can do based on the character that you are. So I am the inspector. I start at the precinct over here, and my special action, which is one of my options that I can do as my four, is to place, my, place your hero in any non-water space with a monster. And there are reasons you might want to be with monsters that we'll see as we go on. Now, there are different setups depending on the monsters, and the monsters that have come out here have altered a space on the board. So instead of just being a generic space where uh, villagers and items are going to end up, they now do particular things. It's where we go to advance the monsters, to progress to defeating them, and they want to be advanced in quite different ways. One last thing before we start though, the last bit of setup is we need to put some items out here. We have a bag full of items. Uh, it comes with uh, a, a bag for it, but uh, this is this is nice for being one-handed and taking things out of bags. It's brilliant, it stays up. Uh, so I will just do that now. And there we go. So what do the monsters want? Well, they each have their different <laughs> issues, don't they? The creature from the Black Lagoon is going to strike from the depths, locate his watery retreat so you can oust him. Uh, what we can do here is, at the camp, we can sp do a special action to use any kind of item to move the boat to the next X matching that colour. And if we use the colours uh, wisely, then we can get here by spending the fewest number of items. The Wolfman... Once you go to the laboratory and use blue items uh, that match the strength of the item, each item has a number on it, so we want uh, low numbered blue items, one, two, and three, twice to be able to try and figure out the cure. Once we've advanced to their final stage, so once we've got to the creature's lair, we've done the six things on here, and the invisible man uh, has gone mad. Collect proof of, your, of his misdeeds so you can catch him. You need to go to the precinct and spend items that came from these locations to uh, show the evidence. The Wolfman, by the way, is tormented by his form. Uh, develop an antidote and administer it to him, and he is going to be hunting down one of us. We're going to get a hunted token at some point. Uh, but we need to do all of that. So it's basically about moving around, getting items, getting them to where you need to be. Items are also going to defend against uh, the monster's attacks. There are going to be villagers around. We want to try and save the villagers as well. Uh, but let's see how well we can do that. We do also start with perk cards. My perk card is move a hero up to four spaces, and Marty is choose one, place the invisible man anywhere, or move any monster three spaces. And we might want to be moving him to save ourselves or a villager, or we need to be in his space to defeat him, so that might be a good one uh, to do later on. So what would I like to do? Well, I started off in the precinct, and there is an item in the precinct that I could grab. It's quite a, a powerful item, and... Let's see, we don't need anything coming from the precincts to catch the invisible man. Uh, it could be used later, you know, strong reds. We need uh, a collection of reds that are worth six or more strength uh, to defeat the wolfman and uh, nine or more to defeat the invisible man. But I think it would be good to have because one of my actions is pick up any number of items in your space. So I think I'm going to spend my first of four actions picking up that pistol. Then another action I can do is move to an adjacent space, taking any number of villagers with you. We haven't got any villagers yet, but we soon will have. Now, I have to bear in mind that the monsters could very well be moving. Uh, 
there will the monster cards will specify a monster to move, but also the frenzied monster will move. That at the moment is the creature from the Black Lagoon who is hanging out over here. So the camp's got a lot of items in it. I'm very tempted to go over there because I've used one action. I could go two, three, four and end up in the barn, but Marty is kind of clear, to, kind of near to the barn. So maybe I'll go to the camp. I could. So I've done one to pick up an item. I could do two, three, four. I am vaguely close to enemies, and then I could pick all of these up next time, which wouldn't be a bad thing. And at the camp, I could spend one to try and advance the creature from the Black Lagoon. So I, th I think I'm happy with my four actions there. Now it's time for the monster phase. We need to draw a monster card and it's going to tell us a few things. So first it tells us how many items to draw from the bag. Zero in this case. Then we have an event. Now if this doesn't apply to a monster you have, which it doesn't, Sunrise place Dracula at the crypt. We aren't playing with Dracula so we ignore that middle bit. But then it's going to tell us the invisible man, the creature, and the frenzied monster are going to move and attack. The invisible man, Frankenstein, and the frenzied monster are going to attack. So the invisible man is going to move one space and then attack. He's over at the inn, so he'll move one space towards the nearest person. So I am one, two, three away. Marty is one, two, three, four. So go towards me. One space isn't going to get him anywhere, though. He would attack with two attack dice, but there's no one in his space, so he doesn't attack and we don't roll any dice. Next, Frankenstein's not in the game. The frenzied monster right now is the creature from the Black Lagoon. So the creature is now going to move. So the creature could either go to the bridge or the cave. When there's a tie, the current player decides. I'll put him over in the cave because that leaves my path kind of clear to run away and i can't use these water spaces so i couldn't go to the cave and duck through the lagoon only the creature can do that so i think uh, yes he's not got a person to attack either so no dice for the creature and so that's all we need to do the frenzy marker by the way is going to be moved by event cards so it doesn't just move after the frenzied monster activates so i've had my whole turn i have my hero phase then the monster phase so we can move to marty the archaeologist and what's he going to do? His special ability is that he can pick up items from an adjacent space rather than needing to be in there. So I think he is just going to go on an item run. Ooh, he might risk being right next to the invisible man. Let's see what he can do. He's going to go one, and then pick up this microscope, two, three, out to the theatre, and then he's going to pick up these in an adjacent space because he can. So he's got some very good items there but if the invisible man is going to move he is potentially going to attack marty we'll see what that uh, does so that's all of his attacks already isn't it all of his actions so the monster phase we're going to put three new items out so we go into the big donut bag and grab three of these so this one goes at the camp so much at the camp for me to grab this one goes to the barn and this one goes to the institute which is down there and then a former employer, place Dr. Cranley at the laboratory. So Dr. Cranley is going to be one of these survivors. Here he is. He is going to get put in the lab and he wants to go to the precinct. If we can send him to the precinct, we've saved him and we'll get a perk card. If a monster gets to him, then we are going to raise the terror level and it's game over if it gets too high. So then it is the invisible man and then the frenzied monster. So the invisible man gets to go. The invisible man is two away from me, one away from Marty. So he'll go one to Marty. And now he rolls two attack dice. And let's see what he does. He gets two hits. So it is one hit to defeat a hero. You can discard an item to cancel out a hit. But you can, if you don't want to discard items, Marty could choose to basically take those hits. He will wake up in the hospital with his items still, but the terror level would rise. So I think it is, it's a bit costly straight away, isn't it? But he's gonna, he's gonna discard these two items. It was a risk that the invisible man would get to go. He's gonna discard these two items and cancel out those hits. Next up is the frenzied monster. So the creature from the Black Lagoon gets to me and rolls two attack dice. And so the first one is a hit. So I'm going to discard my item to ignore that. 
And then we can see what the exclamation mark means. That's the creature's uh, special ability. That is, move the boat one spot backward. Luckily for us, it's still on the start space and can't go any further backward. So we've, uh, <laughs> we're safe from that for now. So that is, we've added the items, we've done the event, we've moved the monsters, and that is it. Monsters will, of course, move to villagers if they are the closest. If there's a tie between villagers and heroes, they'll move to heroes first. So it's my turn again, isn't it? And I think it would be wise. You can be in a space with a monster, by the way. Nothing happens until it's the monster's turn. It'd definitely be wise to grab all of these items for an action. And let's see, on the creature's board, I am at the camp, so it makes sense to try and do something. If I spent a blue item, that would move it the furthest along. So I think I've just picked up three yellows and a blue. So my first action was picking items up my second action is going to be to spend this blue item to advance so advance is one of your possible actions to advance to the next blue cross because it's a blue item i spent that goes in the discard pile now do i want to spend a third action if i if i was willing to stay in here i could spend two of these yellows now to basically skip to this space which is so far along. And I do have, I'm, I'm in the space with the creature, which is not good. But at the same time, I do have one more item left to defend myself with. I think I'm going to risk it. I'm going to do three advance actions. So two more advances, discarding these. Let's see if we can finish off the, the creature quickly. So a monster card is needed. No new items. Reincarnated soul. If no hero has the soul sign, Give it to the current player. Move the hero with the soul sign three spaces toward the mummy. Well, there is no mummy, so we can ignore all of that. And so who is going to go? Wolfman, Dracula, not in the game, Invisible Man. And Marty hasn't had a chance to move yet. So it's going to be Wolfman moves one space towards me. Yeah, the village is further away. Uh, can't do anything because there's no one in any space. The Invisible Man does get to, won't move because he's already in space with Marty, and does get to roll his two dice, and is going to, exclamation mark, move the invisible man two spaces toward the closest villager. So the invisible man is after Dr. Cranley. It's a bit of a relief for Marty, but that's it for the monster phase, so we can move on to Marty's turn. He can pick items up from an adjacent space. I don't know if that's going to help him much at the moment. Let's see. To try and move Dr. Cranley, he could go one two, three, and he would just move him straight back into a space with the Invisible Man. If he's with Dr. Cranley, though, the Invisible Man will attack him instead. So I think he's going to go one, two, three to be in the same space. And he can actually progress a little bit toward the Wolfman, because for four, he can pick up items from an adjacent space, because he's the archaeologist, and he's grabbed a blue item that would be perfect, and he's in the right place. He just hasn't got an action left to advance just yet. So that's going to be his whole turn. He's going to go in here and try and act as a shield to Dr. Cranley. And for his move actions in future, he can bring Dr. Cranley with him. So it's the monster phase, and it's going to be two new items from the donut bag. And that is... Oh two nice things in the Institute. Ah, oh, just pick things up from there. And the Precinct, which is where we are heading, I think. Where's the Precinct gone? There it is. So, Thief, place the Invisible Man at the location with the most items and discard all the items there. Well, that's actually any of the places. So we could just get him out of the way. I think grabbing that too would be useful, wouldn't it? Yeah, so we'll, we'll just put him over here. Everywhere's got one item on it, so we'll discard this one. Then it's going to be the mummy, no. Creature is going to get to go. And then Frankenstein, so just the creature. So he isn't going to move because I'm still there. Three dice though, this is not looking good for me. And that is two hits, so I will just choose not to defend anything because I've only got one item. So either way, I am going to hospital and the terror level increases. And then the exclamation mark means the boat moves one space backward. But we've still made some great progress on that boat. Okay then, so it's my turn, and let's make the most of uh, being in hospital. What can we do? We're just going to have to try and make our way up somewhere, aren't we? I can go to any space. 
I could warp straight back to the camp and use another yellow item. Although yellow is the worst thing to use right now. It would only move us one space. Red would move us the most. Let's try and get some more items, I think. I'm going to go one, two, three, four. Not a very exciting turn, but we, we have just come out of hospital. Cut us <laughs> some slack. Uh, so let's see. The Egyptian expert. He's coming out. We need three items first. So three out the donut bag. That's going to be the theater. Where's the theater gone? Probably covered up by a card. That's ah, behind the dice. Then two at the tower, which is right next to it. Okay, and we need Professor Pearson at the cave. There he is. Oh, dear. In danger from the creature, and it's going to be a while before my turn. The creature is still frenzied, isn't he? Oh, dear. Yeah, nothing we can do about that. So that's the creature is going to move two spaces. Closest is definitely Professor Pearson. And going to roll two dice. And that is a hit. Professor Pearson, sadly, straight away is no more. And the terror level rises. So a bit of bad luck with that monster card. It's Marty's turn, though, and he's going to make this all better, isn't he? He's going to grab items in an adjacent space over here. He's got two blue items now. He could use two actions. Yeah, he could advance twice, so he can use a blue strength one and a blue strength two. And there we go. We are a third of the way of advancing the cure for the wolfman. And then, so that's three actions, wasn't it? Pick up items, advance twice, and then move with Dr. Cranley, I think. Could pick that item up, but there's no real need to. He could stay there and pick the item up. But let's try and get Dr. Cranley along, because... Yeah, I, I could even take Dr. Cranley on my turn. So, monster. It's going to be no new items. Place the creature at the river. Oh dear, that's closer to us. And then the wolfman gets to go. Yeah, it's wolfman, and then bride isn't in, and then frenzied monster is the creature. So, hasn't got enough movement to get to us there. So, the wolfman. Let's see, the quickest way is over here, isn't it? Wolfman goes there and does nothing. Creature is going to go there and do nothing. So, a, a bit of a, a rest there right now. So I think... Should we move Dr. Cranley? And not pick up any items? If we're going to the precinct, I could pick up the blue item there, which could be used at the lab later on. Let's see, I could move with him and go one, two, three, four. Oh, I could get him to the precinct. That seems worth doing, right? Yes. Yes, definitely. I'm going to go for it. So the... Dr. Cranley is saved, and I draw myself a perk card. And skip the next monster phase, draw and place two items from the item bag. Do you want to just play that? I think so. Yeah, let's put some let's put two new items out. So that perk card's used. And two new items. It's going to be at the mansion and at the museum. Not that useful at the moment. So no monster card. Marty does have his perk card of place the invisible man anywhere or move any monster three spaces. I think Marty is going to go one, two, three, pick up two items at once. And then why not? Just Let's just get a load of items, pick up from the barn as well. He's then going to use his perk card to move any monster three spaces. He's going to get rid of the creature. One, two, three. Yeah, I can have a chat with the Invisible Man. It's not getting rid of him, but give us a bit of breathing room from the monsters. Uh, time for a monster card. That's going to be two new items. And then, oh, the Invisible Man's moving. Uh, so we've got the Institute down there. Oh, two in the Institute, which means that's the only place with two, isn't it? The Invisible Man is going to go there and discard all the items there. So that's unfortunate because they were blues useful for the cure. Then it's going to be the mummy, no, the creature. It's going to move a space, can't attack anyone. And then Frankenstein can't go because he's not here. Okay, so I'm at the precinct and I can... Let's see, I've got things from the church and the camp. I don't think either of those are locations that we care about for catching the invisible man. No, they're not. 
What I could do though is my special action is I can go to any space with a monster for one action. So I'm going to go one, two to pick this red item up, three, four, and then next turn I'm ready to advance this to the next red space, which, oh, it's getting close. And then I have a yellow item so I could move it a few more spaces. Yeah, look at getting rid of the creature first, I think, because once they're defeated, they're not on the board causing trouble anymore. So new monster card is going to be three new items. And that's going to be at the lab, at the camp, oh, and the barn. Oh, I've seen the barn. Just put things in it. It's up there. Okay. And then place Dr. Reed at the Institute. Oh, dear. Right next to the Invisible Man, who isn't going just yet. And then we need... The creature is going to move one. So let's see. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Uh, let's have the creature go towards me. Yeah, we want Marty to have a path to the lab, I think, because he can get some stuff done there. Although he does need another blue three and blue one to find the cure. It's Marty's turn. He could just run to Dr. Reed to protect. Hmm. Could be worth doing, because he's got so much to defend himself with. I think, yeah, he's going to go one, two, three, four, and stand guard for Dr. Reed. So straight to another monster phase. Two more items. Okay, we need something at the mansion that uh, these guys can look at. And the lab. Oh, and it's a one. Brilliant. Uh, let's see. If, the, if no hero has the hunted emblem, this is for the wolfman, give it to the current player. So this is Marty. Marty is the hunted player. Move the wolfman three spaces toward the hero with the hunted emblem. Oh, dear. So then the creature gets to go and will move again to me. No Dracula. Frenzied monster is the creature. Oh, and is going to get to go and roll two dice. And that's going to be a hit. I will discard one of the yellow items, I think. To negate that hit. Okay, so it's back to me. And I'm definitely going to advance with the fire poker here. Let's see. We are going to move along to the red space, and do we use the yellow as well? That would be two actions, and I'd still have two to get away with. Yeah, I'm going to use the yellow as well, so that's going to put me there. Yeah, and then we just need any color and then, another, and then a blue to get to the lair. And then we can defeat him. We need a, a yellow, a red, and a blue in the creature's space to defeat him. So yeah, let's, we've spent all of our items, but then I can still get two spaces away. And I can, you know, move a hero up to four spaces. If I really wanted to get away, but I think that's, we're going to say that's okay. I've got no items to defend myself with, which is what I'm worried about. Uh, so two items, the wolf man can move three spaces to the hunted player. Let's see, that goes in the tower, that goes in the docks, which I've seen. There they are. So the Wolfman <laughs> is also in the Institute. And then it's going to be Creature, gets to move a space. No Dracula, Frenzy, oh no! Nothing we can do about it. Whew. That is a relief, no hits. So it's Marty. He's going to... He's got so many items. He's just going to go here and be quite cavalier about the people chasing him. He's going to grab these items for his second action. And then he's going to just advance twice, I think. Uh, he'll just use these again. One and two. And then he has got one three or one away from... Maybe we'll do Wolfman first. Yeah, so just one, two to pick him up. Three, four, yeah. And he's standing there, so the monsters will attack him. And he's still got five items, which he should be using to advance other things, admittedly. But he is he's pretty safe right now, isn't he? Let's see, no new items. And then that's the mummy, so we ignore that. The wolfman moves and is going to attack with two dice on Marty. That's a hit. He's going to discard. We don't need a blue two right now, do we? Although we do need... We would like blues to sort out the uh, creature. Maybe we get rid of a red. Let's see. We don't need two from the barn. We could do with one from the barn for the invisible man. We don't need two, so I'm going to discard one of them. 
And then it's the Invisible Man's turn, who's going to come into the lab as well and see what's cracking. Two dice. That is a hit. So we'll do, I think, the Institute. The Institute is one we need something from, and there isn't one there, whereas there is something at the barn. So he'll discard the barn one. And then the exclamation mark means he moves two spaces toward the closest villager. There's only one villager, so that effectively doesn't mean anything. Okay, so it's me. I'm going to go off and grab some items and kind of run away from the creature a bit. One, two, three, four. Not a lot done, but we, the items haven't really bunched up at the moment, have they? I don't want to move four spaces just yet. We've got three new items. So that's going to be at the tower. Oh, lucky. And then the camp. Ooh, the camp's good. And then the church. And then Maria is getting placed at the barn. Ooh, I could maybe rescue Maria next time. And then it's going to be Frankenstein, Bride, and then Frenzy. Frenzy moves over there and can't attack me yet. Marty, and he's going to spend one more action advancing so that there's another item on the Wolfman. We're one item away, a blue three. There isn't one out at the moment, but then we need to really look out for that. So that's one action. So Dr. Reed wants to go to the camp. So I think two three, and then, oh, that's not an adjacent space, that's uh, two, three. And yeah, I could just pick up adjacent items for ages, but although still at risk of enemies coming after him, he's not got such a wealth of items anymore, has he? Okay, so three new items, and that's going to be at the precinct, the church, oh, I've seen the church, why does this happen every time? and then the shop, and then it's going to be, move the frenzy marker, okay. So, let me find this shop. Where's it gone? Am I covering it up? Yes, I am. <laughs> move the frenzy marker to the next monster. So it's the next mo monster in frenzy order, which is the wolfman. Uh, move each villager one space toward their safe location. Oh dear. So Maria goes there, and Dr. Reed goes there. That's very dangerous, Maria. Please don't do that. So then the frenzied monster, which is now the Wolfman, is going to move three spaces and attack with two dice and gets a hit. The monster's going to have to discard something. Doesn't need something from the show, although does want high reds. And it's going to discard that. Okay. So it's my turn, isn't it? We want to pick things up. Could we get one, two, three, four? We could just get Maria to camp. Yeah. Or we'll not quite do it. See, the, the perk card could be something really useful. It's just that I'm leaving behind good items by just running there. Let's do it. We can always pick these things up. One, two, three, four. So, Maria is safe and sound and rewards us with a perk card. Mob Justice, uh, either place Frankenstein or the Bride in any space, so we can ignore that. Move any monster three spaces. We can only play it during the hero phase, but that's something useful to keep in mind, isn't it? The monster phase, and that's going to be two new items. And they will be one at the docks, one at the docks, and then the thief. Place the invisible man at the location with the most items. Oh, sorry, Docs. The Invisible Man is, uh, yeah, again, thieving all the items. That's why we need to gather this evidence against him. Uh, there's no mummy. Creature gets to move a space. And then Frankenstein isn't in the game. Okay. So Marty is going to... He wants to go to camp as well. He can still do it. It's one, two, three. So he's going to pick up items in an adjacent space first. And then go two, three, four. So a perk card for Marty for rescuing a villager, and that's going to be show of force. Either place the creature in any space or move any monster three spaces. So yeah, could just... Yeah, he's going to play that, and we're going to put the creature all the way over here. Although the creature can move along water. So... Yeah, and we're geared up to do stuff at the camp next turn, aren't we? Monster, that's going to be two new items. 
and they are going to be at the mansion and the tower mansion tower and then frankenstein ignore the event creature is going to move two spaces there's no villagers and we're all there so actually the the creature will move along the water and that's a lot faster one two and then wolfman oh this is our combination wolfman two spaces invisible man two spaces nobody gets to attack just yet though and so it's me now i can i'm going to pick these items up for one and then i'm going to do two advances first with a yellow and then with a blue because if we look at the space here oh this is perfect yellow and then blue we're on the layer space so we need to be in the creature's space. What if, oh, this could be great. We could do an action we haven't done yet, actually, on <laughs> this whole time. We can um, share items between heroes in your space. And it doesn't have to be an even trade, and you don't have to be involved in the trade even. You can trigger a trade between other players in a game with more players. Yeah, we're going to trade. And... I'm going to give Marty, let's see, the Invisible Man doesn't want anything from camp, so does he want anything from the theatre? No, there's nothing on his card from the theatre. I'm going to take this tower research off Marty for my third action. Let's see, I pick things up. Two, three, four. Oh, no. Maybe I give Marty my things? So I'm just thinking, I can make the monster come in here, but I haven't quite got enough actions. See, it was Pick things up. Instead of picking things up, I could have taken them off Marty, but it's a bit late for that. Yeah, I'll... I'll give him that, that item for his turn. Or maybe give him all of my items. Yeah, and if, if he comes in here now, then Marty can take the hits and not me. So, it's two items come out, and then a Dracula event, which we can ignore. So at the docks, and then something at the lab. It's a one, we need a three, don't we? We need a blue three, and there's still nothing out for that yet. Then nothing. Mummy, bride, invisible man. Invisible man moves a space, and that's it for the monster phase. Marty is going to move out to the creature, and while this is on the lair, we can do the defeat action. So this is another action, his second action. In the creature's space, use a yellow, red, and blue item to defeat him. So here is the blue. And then yellow, he's got a couple of things from the church, so he'll use one of those. Actually, we don't uh, need to worry about the church at all. And then for red, theatre or institute. Let's see, theatre isn't on the Invisible Man's card. It's uh, Institute is something that we're going to need to use to... We've no, made no progress against him yet. But yes, we're going to do these three things. And we've, we've found his lair and we have driven him away back to his lair. He isn't going to be troubling us. Oh no, that's not the creature. Oh dear. So, oh, now I can play this on Marty's turn as long as it's in the hero phase. So it, it works out, it's okay. One, two, three, and then Marty's going to come out and defeat him. Okay, <laughs> let me misreading colours of things. So the creature is now driven away back to the depths and is not going to be bothering us anymore. So we only have the Wolfman and the Invisible Man to worry about now, and the Terramark is still only on two. So really, we've been pretty lucky, I think. So it's Monst oh, that's Marty's had two actions, hasn't he? He's moved out and he's defeated. I think he's going to go over here, Fearless Marty, and pick up items from an adjacent space. He's got a lot to defend himself with. Oh, as well, when the creature's defeated, we don't need the overlay on the camp space anymore. Then it's monster time, and that's going to be two more items. So one at the inn and one at the camp. We know where the camp is. And the inn... I'm oh, covering it up, Oma. There it is, right at the top. Dracula, no. Mummy, Invisible Man, moves a space, doesn't need to, gets two dice on Marty, two hits. Oh dear, we don't need... Let's see, for the Invisible Man, we don't need anything from the church or the camp. 
or yellow items in general, actually. So yeah, he's going to discard these two. And yeah, that's all good. And then the creature, not in the game anymore. So doesn't get to activate. Brilliant. Okay, it's my turn. I can move up to four spaces. There's a blue three right there. I am going to move up to four spaces. I am going to go one, two, three, four. I'm going to pick up these items. So the card isn't an action. My first action was pick up items. I could have picked this up first, but no. Two, three, four. We are close to going to the lab, and then we can defeat the Wolfman if we get some reds. And Marty's got some reds. <gasps> he could do it with just the gun from the precinct, which we don't need for the Invisible Man. Brilliant. Okay. This is all coming together. Right. So it's monster face time. Three new items come out, and we have Lucy coming out at the theater. So there's Lucy. And then Dracula. No. Frenzied monster is the Wolfman. Uh, so we'll move to Marty and just gets one die on him. That's nothing. And it's Marty's turn. He could get Lucy right to the mansion right now. I think that's what he's going to do. So one action that you can do is guide a villager to or from an adjacent space. So he's going to guide a villager from an adjacent space. One action. Two he doesn't even need to go in there if he doesn't want to. He is going to go in there, though. Three. So Lucy is saved right away. And Marty gets a perk card. Uh, choose one, place the mummy in any space, or move any monster three spaces. And... Yeah, he's just going to... Might just pick these items up. Doesn't particularly need to do anything right now until I've done my work at the lab. Okay, we have three new items coming out, and then Wilbur and Chick are going out at the shop. That's four items. Uh, so another one at the lab, the Institute, and the Mansion. And then Wilbur and Chick go at the shop. And then Frankenstein, Bride, Frenzy. Frenzy's Wolfman moves a space. And that's it for that. So now... I do want to take him to the dungeon. Dungeon's all the way up there, though, so I don't think I'm going to do that just yet. I think they're pretty safe from monsters. I'm just going to go in here, and then I'm going to advance, place this on the last spot on the Wolfman for the cure, so we can take the cure. This does mean, though, that I'm going to need that red item off Marty, or I could go and get some of my own. Yeah, we could do that, couldn't we? So it's one to go in there. I'm going to do two to pick these up, three, four to pick this up. Because I could even pick up some reds from here, maybe. Or Marty could come to me and drop his uh, his pistol off if he wanted to. Okay, so monster time. Three more items. We've got a worried fiancé. Place Elizabeth at the mansion. Okay, there is Elizabeth at the mansion right there with Marty. <laughs> it's worked out perfectly. Frankenstein, bride, frenzy. Finally, the wolfman makes it to Marty and gets to roll two dice on him. That is a hit and an exclamation mark. So the hit... We could do with something from the mansion. Not necessarily two things. They're a yellow thing from the mansion we don't need. So it's just going to discard that to negate the hit. And then the exclamation mark from the Wolfman is every person in the Wolfman's space is hit. So Marty's going to have to do something. Elizabeth, sadly, didn't even get a chance. Terror level goes up. Marty needs to discard something else. I don't think he needs anything from the precinct. Going to discard that. Okay then, so it's Marty's turn. He's going to gather items, I think. We do need things from the mansion. He has got one from the mansion, but it would be nice to protect things, wouldn't it? No, he's just gonna he's gonna grab things from the abbey. So that's one, two, three. Sorry, Wolfman. <laughs> and then he's gonna share this pistol with me. Actually, can we share so that he would have everything that he needs? We need in barn. Mansion Lab Institute. So, Mansion and Institute. So have I got anything from the inn, barn, or lab? I'll give him something from the lab. So they're needed ones, okay. And he's given me the pistol. So that's his turn. Monster phase. We are actually getting low on cards, so... We do need to get a move on. I was just thinking how well we're doing. 
So it's going to be two new items, one at the lab, one at the inn. And then Bride isn't in the game, Creature isn't in the game. Wolfman moves two spaces and is going to attack, let's say, me. Nothing. And then the Invisible Man is going to move two spaces, which is good because uh, I, I want him to be closer. So... Oh no, it's the Wolfman we want to defeat, so great that he's in here. My first action is going to be uh, in the Wolfman space. I've got the cure right here. Uh, I need a strong item. I need a pistol to defeat him. Six or more. I'm going to use that cure. And the Wolfman turns back into Michael J. Fox. And he is no more. So we can get rid of... Yeah, the, the lab's special overlay tile. And so the Invisible Man becomes the frenzied monster. We can move all of that out of the way because it's just the Invisible Man to defeat, who we've made absolutely zero progress on. So that is that was my first action, wasn't it? So what do we need stuff from? We need stuff from the... We've got the lab and the institute and the mansion. So the barn and the inn. So I think I'm going to... The barn and the inn. I'm going to... Yeah, I'm going to make some progress up here. So let's, that's one action to defeat. Two, three... And then I think four. I can send them in there next time, can't I? Monster time. And it's three new items. And that's going to be graveyard, uh, church, and inn. Loads at the inn. And um, place Fritz at the tower. Tower isn't in a grave. Oh, actually, right here. <laughs> Let's all go together. And then... Bra Frankenstein, Bride, Frenzied Monster is going to go towards Marty and roll two dice. Marty's got tons of defense, though. Two hits. Oh, that's, that's a bit more than we're hoping for. <laughs> but uh, Okay, he's got no defenses now, but that should be okay. Oh, he doesn't need the hunted uh, token anymore, does he? Right, so Marty's turn. He can move the monster away. But he needs to go hunting for items, doesn't he? We need stuff from the inn. He does also could do with going to the precinct and starting to drop these off because we'll need loads of actions to be doing this. He's going to go one, two, three, and then pick up all this lovely stuff from the inn. Then it's three new items out on the board. And then... So I've got two in the bag. Whenever the bag is empty, as you can see before your very eyes, you take all of the discard pile and fill it back up again. So move the Frenzy Market to the next monster. Not possible, I'm afraid. Move each villager one space toward their safe location. So oh, that village is safe. And this one goes to the Institute. Do we get the card for that? Yes, it's still your turn. I think it's Marty's turn. Was it? Oh, I shouldn't look things up. I forget whose turn it is. I think it is. Place a hero in any non-water space. That's going to be useful for later. Okay. So, yeah, we've done that. And then Frenzied Monster... Is going to move the closest person is the villager. One, two, and then roll the hit dice. And exclamation mark, move towards the closest villager. Oh, wow, that's, that's lucky. Okay, although we're, we're, pretty, we're doing pretty decently on the terror track. Not very many cards left on the old uh, monster deck, though, and we lose if we run out there, but we are getting close. So it's my turn. So I'm going to go one, two, to pass... Fritz off to Marty to keep him safe. And then three to the barn. Four, because we are going to need stuff from the barn to uh, do the Invisible Man. And we need nine or more strength worth of red items to defeat him when it comes time. Monster phase again. No new items. No creature. No Wolfman. Frenzy. He goes to... Oh, I decide. So... Yeah, I've, either of us have got a load of items. He does get three dice, but Marty's about to go and give a load of evidence in. So I want to save stuff from the barn, don't I? So he's just hit me twice. I will use... I will get rid of the blues, because we don't need blues to defeat him at all, do we? And we don't need things from the tower or the lab, because Marty's got some things from the lab, so I'll discard those. Then negate those hits. And, yeah, that's done. Marty's turn. He might as well bring Fritz with him. He's going to go in there for one. And then, well, I, I could actually, I could move him there for free. 
Although it would probably be better to move me there for free. Yeah, he's going to go there for one, and then he's going to spend three actions giving evidence about the Invisible Man. This is what he did at the mansion. This is what he did at the lab. And you wouldn't believe what he was doing down at the Institute. So we just need things from the inn and the barn. Marcy's got plenty of stuff from the inn. I've got the stuff from the barn. Ooh, it's getting, it's getting close. I think, oh, it's just going to be the, the, turn, the number of turns we've got left. So no items, no mummy. And then Invisible Man gets to go. Rolls two dice on me again. Just the one hit. We so we don't need two things from the barn. Although I'm I'm getting rid of the red items, I'm probably going to need to try and defeat him. But I've got to get rid of something. I don't want to. Yeah, I can always pick stuff up at the theater. So it's my turn. I think that's just what I'll do. I'm going to go one, two, three, four. Because Marty can always take things off me. Then it's monster phase again. Two new items come out. And that's going to be something at the barn and something at the tower. There. And there is no Wolfman. And so the frenzied monster just moves one space, doesn't get to us. Oh, yeah, I could have just skipped to it, couldn't I? If we just did a bit of a take back. I picked up an item. I, I went there and picked up an item, didn't I? I could have saved some actions by using my card to move myself there. And then, and then I would have had two actions left, so I could have given in one of my barn tokens and then just given everything to Marty in case he needs it for my fourth action, share items. I'll give him everything. But he, he does need to give in. He can give me back an item to protect me in case I get left with the monsters. So now it's Marty's turn, and all we need is to do an advance action once so that's one action, two, three, and then four is uh, actually, let's, uh, let's not even waste actions. Marty's going to play his card, move any monster three spaces, come over here, Invisible Man. So with, with actions to spare, that's the flair that we're using here. Uh, use items with a strength, red items with a strength of nine or more to defeat him. There is 14's worth for you, Invisible Man. He has been defeated before the terror marker got anywhere near the top and uh, not too far like three turns four turns away from uh, the monster deck running out but there we go we did it against three monsters on standard difficulty that is horrified i hope that gave you a good idea of what the game is like and whether it uh, would be interesting for you to go and have a playoff if you'd like to know what i think then that's coming up on the screen very soon or you can click the link in the description to go there now if you would like to support the channel tell people about it and subscribe and do those youtube -y things and if you would like to support us on patreon it's patreon.com forward slash slicker drips the link's in the description for that too it's vote on videos early access but most importantly keep all of this going there's hundreds more playthroughs if you would like to see more there is plenty of co-op stuff like plenty of variations of pandemic that are all fantastic and you can check well nearly 400 playthroughs out on this channel now thank you very much for watching this one though and i'll see you for the next game bye everyone